Hey everyone, hey everyone in this video, <laughs> I can't talk properly. Anyway, in this video I'm going to um, just break through down this quick uh, technique from Sam King. Pretty massive Uchimata. Beautiful. Now as you keep watching it, let's have a look at the, he, he faints, opponent reacts and then he fires in for the Uchimata. There's the faint. And Uchimata, fantastic technique. And so in one of my Instagram comments, uh, someone commented about why we do feints. And there's a few reasons why we do feints. We certainly faint or fake a technique to get a reaction from our opponent. And that reaction will either expose a direction or a hip angle or something that we can exploit with our next technique. Another reason why we can faint is um, if I move quickly, my opponent will react and then relax. And when, it's, when they relax, after they defend, they'll defend, they'll stop, they relax, and boom, I can fire in for an attack. Or thirdly, um, I move quickly, like I faint, they react, and then when I, I, I go for my attack, they're going to think, oh, that match is throwing another faint, but really I'm actually attacking, so they don't react for it. So there's three different ways you, uh, why a faints are really important in your judo. And if we watch here, we might notice the first faint, and you see the hip action from the opponent. Let's have a look. Uh, and it's all natural. There's a hip action and then fires in for the Uchimata to get a very nice technique. So there's a few feints into an Uchimata um, and also why you should be fainting when doing your judo. Have a great week and stay tuned on my channel for more videos from Sam King. Talk soon. Bye-bye.